talk on the radio, it means that I'm supposed to have a radio, but I don't have a radio. So you can receive transmission, but you can't send a transmission. Do you understand? Okay, cool. So, you've been taking on bad guys. Is that what you did all weekend? Uh, no. No, what did you do all weekend? Today we are joined by SWAT Officer Blaze. We already talked about what a SWAT mean. Um, you forget, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. It stands for Special Weapons and Tactics. Ah. For those of you who don't know, I used to be an infantryman in the army, so of course I did a whole lot of advanced training on all kinds of things, and I understand what SWAT goes through. And we wanted to say, what did we want to say to all the police officers out there? Stand up straight. Thank you for all you police officers, including SWAT officers. Especially SWAT officers. For keeping oh, us safe. For keeping us safe. Okay. So today we were going to make scratch brownies, and because the recipe is so outrageously simple, I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to show you how I scale a recipe for those of you who are still on the fence about having a digital scale, for those of you who just kind of aren't loving it. I've done this so much and I've gotten to the point where I just want to clean as few dishes as possible. So maybe watching me do it will answer some questions for you or it will help you move on from there. Now let's start off with our joke, SWAT Officer Blaze. Let's hear it. What does a brownie put on his bed? What does a brownie put on his bed? Uh, pillows. No. Stuffed animals. Oh, a cookie sheet. That's a good one. You're so funny, SWAT Officer Blaze. Oh, and I got another one. Oh, and you got another one. What's that? How is a baseball team like a brownie? How is a baseball team like a brownie? I don't know. How are they? They both need a good batter. Oh. Just one batter? Two batters. Two batters. Okay. I mean one. Okay, one. Two. Anyway. Three. So, Four. we'll okay. call this Scratch Brownies because it is not Box Brownies. Um, for those of you who don't know me and our family super well, which is probably most of you, there is a long-standing debate between my wife and I because I went to culinary school and I came home one day and said, hey, I'm going to make you some brownies. And I did, and she said, yeah, these aren't brownies. This is some kind of weird chocolate cake. And I was like, no, this is brownies. So, she prefers the dollar brownie mix from the store, that's fine. I'm over it now, but it's, it's still a long standing thing. I still prefer to make them myself because of course that gives us so many opportunities and avenues to tailor it to do exactly what we want, to taste exactly how we want, and we're gonna practice our reading skills today. So, SWAT Officer Blaze, can you read me the first two ingredients, please? Half an ounce of oil. Half an ounce of oil. So I'm gonna fire up my scale. What's the second ingredient? Four ounces of butter melted and warm. So I already have my four ounces of butter. I will add a half ounce of oil. Do not be surprised or alarmed at home by the size of the containers of stuff that I have. Obviously I do a lot of baking, so I have a lot of it. We're gonna throw this in the microwave super quickly. To make sure it's fully melted. Now, this recipe calls for butter and oil. Of course, as long as we're dealing with fat, we're good. So this is our first kind of tip that we can start moving around to other flavors. If we wanted to use all bacon fat, you could. If you want to use schmaltz or beef fat, you can totally do it. If you want to use shortening and start going in a more vegan direction, you can. If you want to use a blend of flavored oils, I fully endorse that. Hazelnut oil brownies are delicious. They're crazy expensive, but they are super tasty. What do you think, hazelnut brownies? Does that sound good? No. You don't know, right? Anyway. No. no. So we have our fat melted and warm, right? What is my next ingredient? Five ounces dark cocoa powder. You skipped the 10 ounces of sugar. 10 ounces, ten ounces of sugar. All right, now today we're gonna use white table sugar. I zero my scale, I don't even take anything off it, and I just pour right in. 10 ounces, <coughs> done. What is my next one there, SWAT Team Blaze? Five ounces dark cocoa 
five ounces of dark cocoa powder. Now this is where we can also start changing it up a little bit. This is an extremely dark cocoa powder. That's kind of what we would call prog uh, professional grade. But if you have a Hershey's or kind of a breakfast cocoa, that's completely fine. Uh, find whatever you like and then you can go from there. What I do not recommend for this specific recipe is using chocolate because chocolate has a whole bunch of stuff in it that cocoa powder does not. And you can see five ounces of cocoa powder is a lot of cocoa powder. If you only use five ounces of chocolate, it won't give you much flavor at all. And you will end up with something very, very small and kind of sad. It'll end up being much closer to a cake than a brownie. There are recipes that use melted chocolate instead of cocoa powder and they are delicious, but they are their own recipes altogether. So dark cocoa powder. What else we got there, Blaze? Two large eggs. Two large eggs. Right now, this of course is kind of standard. We have two large eggs. If you have jumbo eggs, that is also fine. Just know that they will have more water. You will get a fudgier uh, brownie in the end. I will pierce these so they are easier to mix later. What else we got? Um, three ounces flour, pink one. Okay. All purpose, yeah. So we have three ounces of flour, right? I tilt my container. Of course, I like to live dangerously. Hopefully I don't get some giant cascade in there because then I have to pull it back out. It gets a little tricky. But so far, the only dish I've dirty is this bowl, right? Now, if you heard that, the toddler's awake and destroying something somewhere, so we'll find that later. Uh, three ounces of flour. I'm using all-purpose or cake. The question is probably out there, which one would I prefer for what? A lighter protein flour like cake flour will give you a much fudgier brownie that will essentially barely hold together. It'll be super molten and really kind of sticky, gooey, delicious. Whereas an all-purpose flour with a higher protein symmetry will give us more uh, substance and it'll be a lot more easier to work with. This is the kind of brownie that I would serve with ice cream or something, right? So what else do we have? One teaspoon baking powder. One teaspoon baking powder, right? For those of you at home who are like, wait, well, what does that weigh? It gets a little tricky when we're using ounces because it is about an eighth of an ounce, but when we work in grams, we can quantify that super, super easily. What's our final ingredients there, SWAT Team Blaze? Um, salt to taste. Salt to taste. Now, with chocolate, I like a decent amount of salt. And, and the father has tambourines. This is perfect. Uh, what is our final ingredient? Extract or flavoring. Today we will use vanilla, but it could be all kinds of other liquid flavorings. Like what? What kind of liquid flavorings are out there, SWAT team Blaze? Okay, so we have other extracts, coconut, orange. Those are very popular. You could use lime or lemon if you wanted to go in a different direction. Of course, we can put in shots of alcohol or liquor. Uh, it makes it very nice, and we can start adding tea or other things if we want to have something that's previously steeped. Some espresso powder, anything like that. So now, what we do, that we've got everything in there, we move our scale, make sure it's off so we don't waste our batteries, and all we have to do is stir this together. Recipe couldn't be simpler, right? Yeah. Wait, when do we add the chocolate chips? We will add the chocolate chippies at the end. Now, this <laughs> recipe is super versatile in that it is a great base that we can add There's other stuff to. Like today we we're gonna add some chocolate chips that we have sitting around. Um, you could of course add nuts to them. I recommend that they be previously toasted. Something that children typically love is having some marshmallows in there. Make your own, make your own kind of Rocky Road brownies. Uh, of course we could add a cheesecake batter and you would have a marbled brownie with some cheesecake bits but all we have to do is mix this around until it's very nice mostly uniform it's not going to be super liquidy and it's probably going to have kind of a sugary texture but that is absolutely fine and then it goes into the oven right now we're going to bake these depending on what you want them to do baking a brownie can actually get fairly technical um, i like mine just kind of straightforward just put it in there, bake it, let it do its thing. I know other chefs who will bake them for a little while, pull it out, slam it on the counter. That'll help deflate everything. It'll stay super fudgy, and then they put it back in just to what set it. Thing? Yes, SWAT team, please. Um, how will we get the chocolate chips into it if we're gonna? Bake? How are we gonna get the chocolate chips into it if we're gonna bake it? This is really hard. You ready? 
Okay, and then we mix it, and then we bake it. And that's it. Are you excited about the chocolate chips? Yeah, I can tell. Hey, don't jump on that button. So, are there any questions out there as we finish this up and get ready for what I can only imagine will be a very long musical evening here at our house? Do you have any questions, SWAT, SWAT team member Blaze? You cannot put them on your head, right? Now, of course, I'm gonna bake them on an eight by eight tray. You could bake them much smaller if you wanted them to have more crust all the way around. Certainly there are people who like that. If you want to have only the centers, you bake it and then cut that off. And of course, I've seen plenty of specialty pans out there. Um, you can use those if you would like, but by and large, just a standard heavy metal pan is enough for me. Of course, they make silicone and everything else that you can imagine, so do whatever works for you. What do you think, SWAT team member boys? You excited? Yeah? Okay. Well, if there are no questions, we'll post a photo of this coming out of the oven. It's a, it's a brownie, so I mean, getting a photo of it's not the easiest thing, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, and then hopefully somebody won't eat them all today. Daddy. Yeah, uh-huh. Uh, so, thank you guys. Once again, thank you to all of our police officers, first responders, everybody keeping us safe. Say thank you. Thank you. All right. So I'm gonna bake mine at 350 uh, until they're done. It'll take a while. Brownies take a little while at 350. It'll be around half an hour. Uh, I will start checking it. Um, you could bake them hotter if you want. If you want them to be extra gooey with a nice crispy top on them, of course you can bake them cooler and longer if you want them to be essentially fudge. So there's plenty of options. Brownies are one of those things that are ultra versatile. We can add stuff in them, on them, anywhere. It's great. Too How many add-ins are too much? Honestly, there's there's almost no limit to it. We don't want to change its general makeup. Like I wouldn't add more than half of its total weight. So I would say if you add three cups of add-ins, you're probably going to get real close to breaking apart the structure. But then it starts taking on a new texture, something closer to like a blondie is typically full of chips, right? Uh, but of course this is a brownie, not a blondie, but you can push it quite a bit as far as the add-ins. Now what we want to make sure of is that we don't have so many, and we want to make sure that anything that needs to be cooked is previously cooked, that way everything is perfectly safe to eat when it all comes out of the oven. What other questions are there as this is just falling apart around me? Perfect. Into the oven it goes. I will check Facebook. I'm probably going to have a stiff drink in a minute. So thank you guys.